Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be repurposing some old bifold doors into beautiful wall decor. I have so many fun DIY projects in mind, so I decided to dig in my garage to finally tackle an idea that I was inspired to do by all of those expensive wall art pieces at Hobby Lobby. I wanted some larger scale pieces to hang, so these thrifted bifold doors were the perfect base. These are easy to find and usually very inexpensive. I love the paneled traditional look, but you could go for that farmhouse or cottage look by using the louvered bifold closet doors. Paint options are almost endless, but I knew I wanted something neutral yet rich and worn looking. I ended up painting my doors by layering paints, stains, and glazes for that old worn look. These two metal candle sconces are from Hobby Lobby and I purchased them a while back and they were 50% off, so they ended up being about $25 for both. These are easily attached with screws. I added two D-ring hangers on the back of each door panel and then hung them on these 30-pound picture hangers. This is one of my favorite paintings. I love all the colors and I love the depth that the artist was able to create. I think it's just beautiful. So I decided to add that painting over this vintage chenille sofa. The little candle holder spike allowed me to secure a piece of floral foam. These little round ones are from the Dollar Tree and they are a perfect fit. I'm going to start this arrangement with some eucalyptus, and this is from Walmart, and it's a fantastic buy for only $2. I snipped the entire bunch apart using wire cutters and started forming my arrangement by adding these around the perimeter of the foam. I worked back and forth to both sconces to make sure that they ended up identical. Next, I added several pieces from a thrifted greenery arrangement. These added height in the back, and then I added more pieces to fill in the sides and the front from that same arrangement. To hide the floral foam base, I added Spanish moss. You guys could make this arrangement a thousand different ways with so many different greenery pieces and florals and it's great to just use what you have and then maybe add in a few pieces that you buy new. And speaking of new, I got these gorgeous fall greenery bushes from Hobby Lobby this year. I got them at 40% off and I only used one bush for both arrangements. I think they add just a nice hint of fall to the arrangement. Next, I added these, and these are a favorite of mine to use in my decor. I cut these apart as well. They add a gorgeous green highlight to arrangements as well as movement and texture. I love all of this greenery, but I wanted to add some softness, so I added these white mums from Walmart. And then I also added these little purple billy buttons from Walmart as well. They add such great texture. 
and that gorgeous purple color helps tie in these thrifted botanical prints. You can really see how much depth and interest these sconces give to this space. You only want to use LED candles in these arrangements, and I initially tried this aqua LED color to tie in with my curtains, but ultimately I decided to go with a soft ivory color instead. To finish out the upstairs hallway decor, I added these Harvest Pumpkins from Walmart. These two black pieces of furniture that I have on either end of the sofa, I'm just using temporarily until I can find a pair of something while I'm out thrifting and treasure hunting. And on those side pieces, I just placed the pumpkins that I got at Walmart on a little vine wreath and then I added some of that same eucalyptus and some pine cones and some of those purple belly buttons along with some antique books and tall candlesticks. And here is a view from the back of the hall facing the other way. I know that I'll be adjusting, adding, and tweaking this whole area as the fall season progresses, but I'm just happy to have one of the many ideas that I had floating around in my head actually completed and put into place. I really think that all of this adds so much to an otherwise boring hallway, and everything that I used in the space was very affordable. I either got it at a thrift store or I got it on sale. And so, no matter what your budget is, you can definitely create a warm and inviting, beautiful space for your friends and your family to enjoy all throughout the year. And here is the view as you come up our stairs. All of our bedrooms are upstairs and I wanted to do something warm and special to this area. If you have a landing or a hallway in your home, take time to jazz up those pathways that lead us from one area of our home to the next. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it inspired you to repurpose some of those old pieces that you may have on hand and to tackle an idea or a project that you've been wanting to do. Please like this video if you did, leave a comment below, share it with your friends, and consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.